Hi everybody, uh, my name is Tiffany and I'm posting this video because I posted some pictures uh, with the Irma kind of styled in a few different ways and a few people asked me to post a video. So I'm gonna try doing this. It's a little awkward for me because I've never done a video before. Um, my kids are here, my cats are here and um, I'm gonna try to do it without being indecent. So hold on. So um, I just went ahead and dressed up uh, in an extra small Irma and just a pair of uh, solid leggings just so I could try to mix and match it with a few different Irmas that I have. I don't have a whole lot of stuff. I've just kind of newly become addicted. Thank you, Sammy. And um, so I'm just kind of learning about all of the different sizes and the ways that you can dress things up. So this is an extra small uh, solid light pink Irma. I usually wear a um, like a medium top and I wasn't always a size medium so my arms um, are a little bit bigger um, from losing some weight and as I keep joking um, I may not fit into this much longer the way I keep eating carbs but fingers crossed. Um, so this is just kind of an extra small Irma and I feel comfortable in this. It's still loose enough that I don't feel like it is um, hugging me in areas that I don't like. It's long enough to cover my assets, as I like to call them. Uh, and I can show you how to um, dress them up the way that I would if I would wear it to work or maybe out if I had a social life. <laughs> so um, I just have a couple belts right here, so I'll show you what it looks like. So here is a uh, skinny belt, and if you don't have one, you should probably get one. So if you want to wear it, I kind of have a higher waistline because I have some bigger hips, um, so I like to wear it a little bit higher. And this is one that has holes, I don't know if you can see them kind of everywhere, uh, so it doesn't really matter where you want to wear it, you can, uh, regarding you know, different, it doesn't really matter what size you are. If you get one that's extra long, um, you can wear it around your waist or your natural waist. Um, so you can wear it like this and that dresses it up. I also have, let me see if I can turn my lights. The sun is going in and out, so you might see the lights change a little bit. Um, so this is not LuLaRoe, so I'm building up and trying not to buy as many Irma's so that I can get a Sarah or Joy, but this is just a cheapy um, cardigan that I tend to wear a lot of stuff with. Uh, so it kind of dresses it up. Don't know if you can see that. And this way it provides you a little bit more coverage if you're a little dare, more daring, and hopefully you guys can hear me, um, you can kind of make it so that it is on the outside and it's a little bit more fitted. And again, if you pair this up with jewelry or nice shoes or something, and I just kind of tuck, tuck this in so that it's not flopping around. So you can wear it like this and it still covers everything. Um, and I just have on, I don't know if you can see, just a pair of sandals. Um, but I feel like I am not overly casual now um, just a little bit more dressed up and if I put jewelry with it, it'd be, you know, a lot nicer. Even plain like this, I like it. Um, I also have a wider belt that I bought that I actually really, really like. Uh, and I wear it a lot with my Nicole's too, because it just kind of provides that shirt skirt separation. So I'm going to show you, um, how, what you can do with a couple of different sizes. So if you're and I really like the way this kind of drapes down too. So the bigger you go, kind of the more flowy it gets. So if you're able to kind of play with a few different sizes, um, I, I find that I can go a little bit bigger um, and I can get a few more prints. So obviously, you know, you can tie this and make it more casual. And because this is an extra, extra small, I don't have as much fabric down at the bottom. Certainly you can use a rubber band. Um, 
Let's see if I can even do this with the extra small. Probably not. Did I say it was an extra, extra small? It's not, it's an extra small. So here's this. I still like it with kind of this layered look um, because I feel just a little bit more covered. Um, but whatever, to each his own. So I'm going to kind of step over here a little bit and get a, a different size Irma. I'm gonna go one size up to a small. Um, so this is one of my favorites. I feel like I can wear it with everything. It's a black and white and it has a little trim of red. I'm trying to find one with no red on it so I can wear it with more. But I like the detail with the different stripes on the sleeve. And so this is one size up. So this is now what a small looks like. And as you can see, it's, it's a bit bigger here, um, still flowy. It's a little bit longer in the back. Um, and I definitely feel comfortable in this. It's a lot looser on my arms. The neck is a little bit bigger. Uh, so this is super comfortable for me. And again, I feel like I can wear it uh, with all different kinds of prints. Don't be afraid to mix stripes with floral prints, um, especially a monochromatic stripe like this where it's black and white and then you have colored prints. Even if you have a little bit of black, it just looks so good. I love it. So, And I know I do not sell LuLaRoe. Um, I just really like it. It's kind of taken me out of my comfort zone and I try more stuff now that than I normally would it. So now I'm gonna go one more size up. And this is my favorite, which I just bought from Sammy Alamia. And I love it, loves it. So this is a medium. So it's bigger, it's a couple sizes bigger than I would normally wear. Still love it. It's still not overly big on my arms. Um, it covers everything. I like it loose. But if you're able to go a size or two up, I might even um, be able to do some of these things with a smaller size. It's just a little bit easier because I'm broader in the chest to play around with this um, with a couple sizes higher. Um, that you can really do a lot more with the shirt. So I'll show you what it looks like with um, a couple different belts, um, and then we'll kind of make it look like a few different tops and even a skirt. So I meant to show you with the pink one. So here's my wider belt. So I really like the wide belt because it's like super stretchy, and you can, if you like, if you're not um, overly conscious about the size of your hips, which I really don't care at this point in my life. You can put it here. It kind of makes it look like a little dress. If you have a smaller top up here, you can kind of make it more of like a, like a baby doll. And it just pronounces it a little bit more. I like this up here more than I like the narrower belt just because I'm super tall. So I guess I'm not super tall, but I'm 5'8". So um, the narrower belt, I don't know, it just, I don't know, I think this just kind of cinches me in a little bit more and I really like the way this looks. And it's long enough that I kind of feel like I'm wearing a little dress with some, with some leggings. So I like that. However, if you grab a smaller belt, And I've never done a video like this before, so I don't know how much time I have on my phone. If you do, see how different that looks with the smaller belt compared to the wider belt. I don't know. I mean, I like it. I've worn this to work before. Um, if you take this and you just kind of ruche it out a little bit. And if you, if you end up where say you're a naturally a small, like a you wear a small and you wear like extra, extra small Irmas. If you can get like a medium or a large Irma and you do this to it, I love the way that looks with like this billowy effect. 
Um, so don't be scared to get a larger size um, Irma, especially if you really, really like the print. Um, so that dresses it up again if you had a longer, say, dangly necklace. That would look really nice. Really like that. And again, throw on a Joy or a Sarah, or in my case, a cheap thing from Marshalls, and it looks really, really cute. Okay, so I'll show you. I'm trying to think of the different styles that I did before. I'll show you. Um, I'll show you these. So what you do is um, take your arms, you go through the hole here. And of course I have on a tank top and all kinds of stuff because, well, thanks mom for, you know, what you gave me here. All right, so you grab these sleeves. You can adjust the back so it pulls up. Grab the sleeves, you pull them up. Try not to get your hair. And I'm just tying it in a knot. You know the fabric is really stretchy and it goes back to its normal shape after you've untied it. This is why um, larger sizes work um, for this. So it becomes a nice halter. Again, so it's one of those you can see it. Nice shot of my double chin here. I like the way that looks there. And again, you can dress it up with the belt. Yeah. And it makes it a nice little kind of like a, I don't know, baby doll shirt or right here and it's a lot of coverage for us modest girls okay so there's one look um, I've also seen the you put your arm in one hole and it's like a over-the-shoulder one and I'm not really a big fan of that one so as you can see when it's like this it's super long even for me at 5'8 so if you're blessed enough um, to be a little bit shorter. Yes, I know you don't think that's blessed, but you have a few more options with some things, like not getting called to the principal office for short shorts, even though you're wearing what everybody else is wearing. So you take the armholes, you pull them over like this, under your bust, and you tie it. So if you have a bathing suit on, or pretend that you can't see the bra straps, it's a nice little dress. See, and it's long. Um, you can also take your sleeves out and tie them here. Go all the way to the end. I'll just do one so you can see. I'm just kind of push them to the end. You actually have pockets. I'm just going to put this one in now. Just put it in. So you end up with pockets. You can leave it like that. And again, I really like it. I think it's really cute. You have a little pair of shorts underneath or whatever the case. So my cat's over there playing with my stuff. My favorite, though, let me undo this. to take this all the way down to your waist like a long skirt. I love this. Love it. Now you can leave it like that. It'll stay because it doesn't get, to mu get much more elastic after that. But you can finish it again belt I don't know if you can see all I see is the record button down there so I can't see if you can see how long it is but now you have like a maxi with um, pockets if you
you time and you'll have pockets. Um, so I think that's that's pretty much all the styles that I went through. Um, I have, again, you can see this is um, a shirt that I already owned and it's blue and white striped because that's what is actually in this shirt is blue. It's not black down at the bottom. So you can see how striped pieces work with florals, which again, I like. You don't have to like it, but I like it. So there it is there. You have pockets. So that's it. Um, I'm sure there's other styles. These are just the ones that I've been playing around with and the ones that I really like. Um, I hope that you guys have fun with the Irma too. I really love it. It's one of my favorites. I'm just now kind of trying the perfect, um, but this kind of is my go-to. I'm really excited about all the different styles that you can kind of interchange for work or at home. And I don't know, I love it. So hopefully you guys were able to learn something and can try it at home. Thank you.